small ones. Freddy stood at the end of his mom and dad's bed, wearing the new swimming gear they had bought him. Is it time to go swimming yet? he asked. <sighs> Not for another few hours, Freddy, said his very sleepy mom. Freddy lay on the floor and practiced his swimming stroke. Today, for the first time, he would be swimming in a real pool. Come and eat your breakfast, Freddy. Even little dinosaurs need energy, laughed his mom. Freddy felt too excited to eat, but his mom had made his favorite breakfast. Freddy's dad said he had to wait a whole hour after his breakfast before he could go swimming. It felt like forever. So while he waited, Freddy helped his dad pack the swimming bag. Dinosaur armbands, check. Swimming togs, check. Towel, check. It wears his goggles. When they arrived at the pool, Freddy rushed into the changing room. There were lots of bigger boys there. There were they were very loud and excited too. Suddenly suddenly Freddy's tummy felt a bit funny. He didn't feels quite so keen to jump in. It's too cold. Dad, I don't want to go to swimming today. It's okay, Freddy, said his dad gently. You will warm up in no time. No, Dad. I just want to go home, said Freddy. Freddy felt really sad that he was too afraid to get into the water. He was sorry he didn't get the chance to use all the cool swimming gear his mom and dad had brought him. Don't worry, we'll go again another day. And you will be fine. You'll like it once you get used to it, said his dad. But Freddy had decided he was never going back. It was too scary. That night, one of Freddy's favorite people came to visit. Nana always had time to read him stories and sing songs. Nana asked Freddy about his trip to go to the pool. So he told her he had been too afraid to get in. It's okay to feel scared, Freddy, said Nana. Really, Nana? He replied with surprise. Would you like to will would you like me to teach you a very special trick that you can use every time you feel a bit scared or sad? Freddy's eyes lit up. Oh yes, please, Nana. Well, Nana helped Freddy get ready for bed. She explained the trick. Close your eyes and think of the happiest, most fun day you can remember. Freddy had so many happy memories that he wasn't sure which one to choose. He thought of 
a cool new bike he got on Christmas Day. And the time he went to the fun park and won his dinosaur teddy. But the happiest, most fun day in the whole world was the day he got his dog Larry. He thought about Larry jumping up and licking his face and chasing him, chasing him all over the house. They had played all day until they both fell asleep under the apple tree that Freddy's dad had planted for him when he was born. I've got my happy memory, Nana, said Freddy. Okay, Freddy, now squeeze your thumb and finger on each hand together really tight. Take 10 deep breaths and keep thinking about that magic moment and always remember when you're scared or feeling sad a little bit angry a little bit mad just to slow down and start to breathe in and out 10 times with ease think of something that makes you smile and hold the thought for a little while then squeeze your fingers really tight and your magic moment will shine so bright. Freddy woke up the next morning feeling much better. He thought about how sad, sad he felt coming home from the pool but then he but then he thought about the new trick Nana taught him. The magic moment had worked! Maybe he would give swimming one more try after all. When Freddy went back to the pool with his dad, the big noisy boys were there again. He put his thumbs and fingers together, closed his eyes, and took ten deep breath, breaths, just like Nana had thought him. What are you up to, Munchkin? Munchkin asked his dad. I'm just doing my magic moment trick. Freddy stood at the side of the pool. He took a deep breath, held his nose and... and... SPLASH! He jumped right in. And that was the most magical moment of all. The end.